Welcome to AD4. Here I would like to demonstrate how we can analyze, tabulate and prepare graph from rank order questions. Rank order questions are very commonly used scale in questionnaires for surveys. In the rank order scaling, respondents are presented with several objects simultaneously and asked to order or rank them according to some criterion. Let's move to the exercise. Welcome back. Here is a question for our analysis. Rank the following five features while you choosing a mobile phone. There are five criteria. So different people have different preferences for buying a mobile phone. Camera, screen size, storage, processor and battery. So just, just consider an example for the first respondent give uh, uh, the storage as uh, his first preference, second for the camera and third preference for screen size and fourth preference for battery and fifth preference for the processor. This is entirely different to other respondent. For example, second respondent gave first preference to camera and the second preference to battery and the third preference to uh, storage and the fourth preference to skin size and fifth preference to processor. So this is different to other respondent. For example, third respondent gave first preference to skin size and second to camera like that. So each and every respondent ha have their own uh, preferences for buying a mobile phone. So just uh, record it into another sheet. Select as a new sheet uh, <clears throat> and give the heading as the respondent number and then next five columns represents the different criteria In camera screen size then storage processor and battery so in this example i would like to consider 40 response or 40 respondents and their preferences so select one and drag it down and fill it up 40 up to 40 Yes, 40. Then I give the preferences uh, of the uh, first respondent. So we have to fill the 40 respondents because different people have their own preferences for buying a mobile phone. So we are calculating the rank preferences, which is the dominating uh, uh, criteria for buying a mobile phone. So third, fourth, and fifth, yes. So fill all these 40, be fast. Yes, I have filled it up. Finish this work, 40 responses. We have to count how much give the first rank for camera, second rank for camera, third rank for camera, fourth and fifth rank for camera. So these are called the frequencies. We have to calculate the frequencies of response. So just uh, merge it and give the heading frequencies. Yes, and give the rank frequency, the first rank, second rank, third, fourth and fifth. Then count how much response as the first rank, count if, give the range, yes, uh, camera range, comma, the first, that means the A44, A44 represents the first one, yes, A44. Close the bracket and 14 respondents give first preference to camera. You freeze the range, relative address, and freeze the A column. Yes, end. Then drag it down. Now we can very easily get the results. Yes, of course. Different frequencies. Then count the sum that should equal to 40. Yes. Then equal to 40, then select it, drag to the last criteria, till the last criteria. Yes, look good. Very easy. Yes, these are the different criteria, the different frequencies of criteria, how much is the different counts for each criteria from rank 1 to rank 5. Then count here, that should also equal to 40. Yes, 40, drag it down, 40. That's it. Now we have to prepare a graph. So select separate sheet for a 
tabulation. You have to prepare a table for the tabulation, select the sheet and select the heading, different criteria. Yes, copy it, control C and uh, paste it here in the column and uh, paste it in transpose. Yes, paste it in transpose. Yes. <coughs> yes, give some space and give the heading rank 1 to rank 5 how much give the first rank, how much give the second rank and uh, uh, how much is the third rank like that yes <coughs> align it, give some space in between yes then give background color yes that's good and uh, give the background color also yes and we can copy the results not the sum only the frequencies of different criteria yes never give the transpose here because we only need the value not the formula to so select the space spatial from here click it then select the value and transpose okay now we can get the transposed result from here Yes, first rank for each criteria. Yes, the row become the column here. So just give <coughs> uh, different criteria, then give the centralize it and um, give a border. Give a border. Yes, then give some space in between. Yes, then we have to. Yes, centralize it and bold it then we have to calculate the total points the first rank at 5 point and the fifth rank at 1 point like that so copy it properly so we have to calculate the point just listen very carefully here is the total we have to calculate it the first rank into 5 second rank into 4 third rank into 3 like that so equal first rank into 5 plus second rank into 4 plus third rank into 3 plus fourth rank into 2 plus fifth rank into 1 yes plus and okay yes so centralize it then copy to drag it down now this is the different points from this we can identify which one is the most preferable criteria for purchasing a mobile phone so we have to rank it down then give the rank there is a beautiful function in excel it is called rank so we can rank it equal to rank yes give the cell that you have to find, find out the position then comma then drag it down the area we can get the rank of that particular number from in that area then freeze in the range yes close the bracket and uh, the most point with the first rank and least point for get the last rank centralized now we can identify different ranks first rank for camera second rank for storage like that go down yes that's it so rank is the function we can calculate the ranks of a number in a region it's a beautiful function in Excel. This is a uh, function that we can use. Now we can prepare a graph from this data. So select the first two uh, columns and then uh, select the insert menu. Then select the column graph, the first one itself. Yes. Correct. Now we can get the graph from the rank frequency, delete it. This is a graph of the different ranks, different criteria and their ranks for purchasing a mobile phone. So we can enlarge it. Yes, click here, you can see an arrow. Then drag it and enlarge it. Now the beautiful graph you can see. So different criteria and their ranks for the 40 respondents for purchasing a mobile. That's it. Now we can format the graph accordingly. You can beautify the graph. So I think that's it. I hope that you love it. Please share as much as possible. And please subscribe my channel.
Thank you. See you again.